in this session, you will select clips from three different cameras and a separate audio source. You will review the manual ways of synchronizing those clips and then use the auto sync method. You will see the camera angle editor and also the angles in a timeline mode. You will edit the multicam clip into a project. You will switch on the fly and then adjust the edit points. So what we're going to look at now is multicam editing. We're going to look at selecting the clips, combining them together as a multicam, editing that into the timeline, and then working through that clip to switch between the different cameras. And in this particular exercise, we will have a separate audio track as well. The timeline edit will then be modified as we work through and then adjusted finally for perhaps transitions if needed. The first stage is to find the clips in your event browser that you want to have added together as a multicam single clip. So obviously we will want to have the audio clip, so selecting the audio there. And then all of these clips have been extracted from the footage from the day and put under a keyword, ceremony. So we will click all of these clips because that one there comes from the small wide angle camera that ran for the whole ceremony. This is the main camera that has a number of clips on it. And we will also have this camera, which was set at the back of the event and will be a cutaway, will allow cutaways from the main camera. So first of all, we select the audio and then all of the other clips, selecting them. So we will right click on those and select new multicam clip. Now this will give us the choice of titling it, so we'll just call it ceremony. And there are some several choices here to make. The main one is the camera name. If you select it by camera name and have the clip reordering and the angle synchronization as automatic, in 99% of cases, this will give you a good result. You can also set up to work on time code, and the synchronization can be at the start of the clip or markers that you put in clips. Now, if you set markers, it will mean that the synchronization of the multicam will have an easier job to find the locations. Audio synchronization, which you need to have ticked, is so good that this is unlikely to be needed. We've called this ceremony and now all we need to do is press the OK key and that synchronization will start to take effect. If we look here in the event browser, we will see that we have now a multicam clip, and this is a multicam clip with the four quarters. We can drag that into our ceremony keyword so that we've got them all together. Then we can start viewing this clip. The next step is to go to the viewer and select show angle viewer. And these are the four sources that we have, the audio, the small backup camera that has the wide angle view, the second cutaway camera, and the main camera. Nothing is showing except for here, then we'll notice that the backup camera is running. And now the secondary camera comes in. And just after the secondary camera comes in, then the main camera comes in. And those are the four angles that we're going to cut to. 
To see all of those angles in the timeline, what we need to do is to go to the ceremony, right click on it and open an angle viewer. This will open it in the timeline and show you all of the clips together. And these are the four sources. Main camera, backup camera, wide angle camera and the audio. Now, if you wished, you could change the position of these cameras. So on the right hand side, where the horizontal lines are, just drag that down and we can change the angle so that now the backup camera is down behind. This gives you a visual of all of the items that we've covered. Now you'll notice with the main camera, it's been turned on and off multiple times and it's synced at all of those positions. All of it is laid on the audio bed down the bottom here. Over on the left hand side, only one camera can be the main visual camera. All cameras can have the audio turned on so you could see if audio matches up. So let's play it through here where all of the audio is together. <laughs> see that all the audio is matched up there. We'll take it to where there's some vocals. And your peers as your partner, lover and friend. And live you can That's turn off you. individual cameras. You so individual. there's just camera one me. recording. To keep on track with a multicam edit, I won't show you at this point how to adjust all of the items in the angle viewer. We'll keep that for a separate tutorial. Once you've completed all the adjustments, you can come to the main clip and start setting up which camera will show first. And what we should be looking at here is the point where we want to start the whole edit. And so coming through here, we'll find that this here is to be our end point. And let's set the I key there to be the in point. We want to make sure that this camera angle, the one that's currently blue, is the starting camera. And the audio is always going to come from the audio track. To set the audio, setting this green audio button here, clicking on an individual track will make that the audio track. We can then go to the video selector and then each time we click on one of the camera angles that becomes the current camera angle. So blue for camera, video, green for audio. We've set our in point. Let's now set a new project and edit this into the project. So we'll come down here. We'll go to the Nick and Graham, and from this point, we will edit in the multicam clip. Using the E key, we'll bring the clip in. This position here is now at the end of the timeline. The quick way to move to the main edit point, that's where the multicam clip starts, is to use the colon key on the keyboard and the colon key moves you to the next edit point to the left. I've moved to the end of that audio there. If I use the parenthesis key, which is to the right of the colon key, it will move to the edit point to the right, which is in this case the last clip in the timeline. So the colon key twice moves from the end to there, into here and we want to zoom into that so command plus will zoom us into that clip location and there is the beginning of the multicam edit. The unchained melody is not needed anymore so let's click on that and use the command and the B key and that will cut it. We can click on the unwanted portion and delete it. That visually takes that out of the scene. If we play here, this is where we want to start the edit from.
Now, at this point in time, we still haven't seen any of the main camera come in. And there it is showing there now, so let's switch to that. And you'll notice that when I switch to that, the cursor changed to a razor blade. And you can see an edit point here in the timeline. The dotted lines represent the edit points. So some switching from the backup camera to the main camera. Now that's not exactly the point I want because see there's a person's head just there. So if we take the playhead to that point, we can move that edit point a little further along so that the, the switch is now from there to there. And you'll notice that when you move the edit point, you get a two up display to show you the two clips. So we might just take it to Ash when she walks off screen. And now we can continue playing from there by pressing the space bar. Taking the playhead up here, this is the currently active multicam clip, and we're going to want to switch to one of the other frames at some point in time. And probably we're going to want to switch to this one. And you'll see that's now become the current one. It might be nice now to have a look at the wide angle view and come into this one here, then onto that one there. You sort of get the idea. Now there's going to be a section there that really had nothing in it, this part here now. And so eventually we will cut that out when we get into the main edit on the timeline. So we'll want to start it from this frame, from now, and then switch to this camera. When we do the final edit, we'll cut out that photographer. Let's start the bridal entrance from now. We cut those out. Let's switch back to that one to avoid the zoom. Now, that zoom there, if we look, is there. So we can now go into the timeline it's assumed that the whole ceremony has been edited and we can go into the timeline now and start adjusting those edit points. Let's go through now. So that looks good there, but what I'd like to do is to cut out the next section. So we'll start with the bridesmaid at the top of the stairs, walking down the other bridesmaid standing there. We're going to stop at this point. So I'm going to put a marker in here, pressing the M key puts a marker in. If I press it twice, we can call this cutaway. And now we'll move down to where this bridesmaid is coming into the scene and we'll put another cut there and that will be command B on the marker. We'll put a cut, command B clicking on the middle piece, we'll take that out. And so it will now switch from here to there. But of course the music has changed. So. Since this is all continuous down here and this has changed, we will hide that audio. No audio there. But there is audio here. And we'll simply extend this audio over this one. So by right clicking here, we will expand the audio and video and drag the audio back.
just give it a fade in. And then at this point, the switch between the video has jumped. Now that would be a nice point to have a dissolve transition. So if we switch through it now, and so we'll just continue through there. That switches from that bridesmaid to show the other bridesmaids walking through into the crowd. This girl walking off camera. And then there's an empty section here that we can delete. We wanted to cut that camera band out. And that's the position where the camera, where the bride's going to start showing her entrance. So we want to lose that clip. We want to use that clip. We want to lose that clip. So that we're mer merging from here. Might bring, extend the audio on this one. Mix that a little, make the mix a little less. It's a little better. Let's move this one down and extend the audio there, we'll mix that one in. And you'll notice if I go to the top of the audio track, you can fade out in this case. That's fade in, so that double-sided arrow up there is the fade in, fade out arrow there. This is the end of the clip, so I'm letting you move it left and right. We don't want to change that one there because there's no change. So we will get a fade in and a fade out. So that's multicam editing and adjusting the edit of the timeline.